How goes it guys? Welcome back to another Thimbleweed Thursday and I don't know where we're gonna actually start this one. Obviously we've done a whole bunch of stuff in Ray's list. Um, we're still looking for that fingerprint tape uh, but now we've we've got pretty much access to I everyone. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Okay whatever you say Reyes. Um, we've got Ransom who's living in squalor at the moment. Uh, we've got Dolores, and we've got Franklin. Now, I reckon we do some of the, like the sub stories. So I think whilst we're here, may, might as well do Franklin. So try to talk to Dolores, visit Chuck's tomb to get closure, escape the afterlife. Well, I suppose we could go do, to Dolores then. Um, well, let's can we float our way out of here? Actually. Um, we can't call the ele is the elevator down? The elevator isn't on this floor. No, so we can't do anything. We can we zap the computer? I want to see. Okay, we can zap the computer, but um, we we still don't know what's through the ballroom. It's chaos in there. I think they're setting up for something. I'll wait until they're done setting up before I go in. Okay, so evidently we've got to come back here for something. So why not? See if we can actually leave and go and see Dolores. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. So, we can't? Okay, can we zap the button to bring it down then? Yes, we can. Okay, we're learning stuff. As always, is it a learning experience here on the Killer Bits? So, let, um, we've got to go up to the penthouse well, then? Back to work, Abu. Oh, we can... Anything Xavier new? says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. Right, well, we're going to try going up to the penthouse then. Sorry, but Xavier said no one could go to the penthouse. Uh, get into the penthouse. Can we float up from the floor below then? Let's try that. Let's try going to floor 12 then. And there's no stairs or anything, is there? Unless we can float out of a window. Can we float out a window? Float to window. No. Um. Unless we bring Dolores here, but then that, that feels like it's a bit artificial, plus she's got her own th stuff to deal with. Um, I'm trying to remember, was there anything else when all the other ghosts left the party sort of thing? Um, can we zap the, the hotel, Tron? If I zap that, someone might notice and get suspicious. That's why I'm doing it! If I zap that, no. someone might notice and get suspicious. Okay, we can't... Okay, we can possibly use the phone if we can find... Can we look at the phone book then? Uh, uh, blow? Blow on phone book, see if we can open up the pages. Nope, okay. Right. Um... Lobby May floor. We'll go back to where we died then. So that was on floor eight, wasn't it? And it was 805. Can we zap this one, Big Zilby? If I zap that, someone no. might notice and get suspicious. Where did everyone go? I'm pretty sure they went up to the penthouse. How do we get into the penthouse? Okay, well, I'm going to give up on this. I'm going to go try out Ransom. What's on his list? His list was get everyone in town to hate me, uh, feed little beeper, get packaged to post office, try and remove your makeup, get key to factory gate, find missing joke book page. We're collecting the dust, um, so maybe we can just give him some dust. Well, we can pick up one there. Um, 
Can we use these pages in the book? Got the page stuck. It's a page from my joke book. Use page. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Use page. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Does that tick the thing? Obviously, there must be another one somewhere. Look at the comic book. It's a Ransom the Clown comic. Issue number one. Well, we'll pick it up then. Can we pick up the rotting food? Will the mouse have no, that? No thanks. Better leave it where it is. Pick up pants. No. Pick up. Always time to do laundry later. Uh. What's in the microwave? Anything? Can we use pick up cheese, feed it to the hamster? Use cheese on hamster. Little beeper doesn't eat cheese. You think he's a rat or something? He's a hamster. So, can we pick up the hamster and give it to the rotten food? Little beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. Right. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. Uh, but we still can't pick up the rotting food. No thanks. Better leave it where it is. Okay, right, but well, we're gonna go see if we can find any food for Little Beeper. Can we use the trampoline? I need to be higher to jump on it. Okay, right. Let's have a wander around. Pick up dust. He needs 32 bits of dust. What the hell? Popcorn? Oh, maybe we feed popcorn to... I dance. won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Right, okay, so there we go. Got it. Oh! Is there somebody in there? No. Right, we're going to find something to put his popcorn in. Uh, popcorn bag, there we go. And then we get, give the popcorn to... Uh, well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves yeah, this crap. Yeah, I thought so. There okay, we go. Okay, two. I can count. Am I really going to pick up all this crap? Yes. The rat's having more fun at this than I am. That's Not mine. Not even half full yet. This sucks. <laughs> Almost half full. Full. Okay. Half full now. This is taking too long. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before I'm done. This is gonna take forever. Where's the rat taking the popcorn? Right, we're gonna follow the rat. I presume we've got it. Uh, more dust. We can swap the cheese for the uh, that the rat's got for. Where's the rat going? He's underneath there, right. Pick up the speck of dust. Uh, use cheese on rat. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. Use cheese on mouse hole. Will that do it? Will the rat drop it? I presume we've got to have a full bag of popcorn, you see, for Little Beeper. Yeah. Pick up popcorn. There's got to be a better way. Probably not. I can't get, I can't get there from here. There's okay. another way. Uh, anything this way. We didn't get to explore much of this because we just went, came out and did our show, didn't we? We can't look at the rat. Okay, no, no, right, okay. And... Are you still picking up popcorn? No. Right, okay, what's... That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Okay, backstage then. More dust. Uh... Is the swear jar still filled with money? It's my empty Rants of the Clown swear jar. It stays there's nothing inside but a couple of pennies. Use pennies? That doesn't seem to work. Uh, Makeup table. Anti-itch cream. 
Okay, well, we'll probably need that then. There we go. Can we open any of these drawers? Open, open. I can't open that. No. Okay. Ah, there we go. Right. So we did need the cheese. Right. Pick up pile of popcorn and now we, we'll have enough for a little beeper and we can strike that off the list it's a full bag of popcorn right uh so what else was on it little beeper you do move slowly come on ransom we've got places to be uh open 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 the trailer door, there we go. Right, now we can use the popcorn on the Here hamster. Here you go, little beeper. In. There we go, fed little peeper. Get package to post office. What package? Try removing makeup again? And um, were we supposed to do that in front of the mirror? The fact that it's on the list, it means it's pro probably... I'm going to need something to remove it with. We can't go into this one. Can we? Open. No. Use. That's too far to jump from here. Can we use? That's too far to jump from here. We'll get a bit closer then. I need to be higher to jump on it. There's nothing else around here we can interact with is that that look like a bit of dust no right can we no here stay there i want you to pick up no it's not it's just part of the the background scene i don't want to pick that up why not can we not leave no um we can't go pet Can we get our cheese back? Pick up... No. Okay, right. Old Ransom My poster. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's where the Midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to get more things off the list. So we'll, we'll try the makeup. Presumably that would trigger something. Uh... Walked box. Look at box. What's the box? It's a box with a crank on it. Use box. Okay, well, we've got a snake in a box. Can we look us at the mirror? Yeah, there we go. That a of a still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. Yeah, so, yeah, try moving. Now we need to get package, get key. There's still a missing page to a book. Um, where would a missing page be? Uh, that The fact that there's a trampoline in between the, the two caravans presumably means we've got to do something with it. Uh, push? Can we push or pull it? Push. Trampoline. There we go. Push. Trampoline. Push. Trampoline. That's as far to the left I can move it. Right. I'll have to push it to move it to the right. Uh, use trampoline. I need to be higher to jump on it. Well, jump off there! Okay. Let's push it to the right, then. Okay. Nope. We'll push it to its maximum. That's as far to the right as I can move it. I'll have to pull it to move it to the left. Use trampoline. You! I'm not gonna jump on that without a spotter. Safety first! 
So why the hell is it here then? Really? Um... No. Close, open, look at, talk, use. Right, okay. Moving on to the next person then. So what did Dolores have to do? Find out what happened to Dad, practice ASCII tables, get key to factory gate. Everyone wants the key to the factory gate. Go talk to the Le Lenore in the library, collect 28 specks of dust. Is that because I got four specks with... Hang on a second, I want to check something. Ransom, your list. 28. Yeah, it must be cumulative now. Because we've collected so much dust along the way, we just need to collect so much more and does that give us a final achievement? We've already had two dust-related ones. Anyway. Uh, well, we can go to the library first. That seems fairly sensible. This was the library, Where the hell have you been, yeah. Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Okay, so... Do we know what the lawyer's name is? Uh, talk to Peter then. Does he know who the lawyer is? Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Peter doesn't want to talk to you. Right. Okay. Well, we'll look at the phone book, see if there's any obvious lawyers in town. Uh... Right, um, saying that we'll probably have to wander around the house and look for a, a a business card with a lawyer's name on or something like that. Yeah, so many Kickstarter backers. <coughs> um, but we know the Pigeon Brothers are in the, the phone book because we have looked, seen them before. So I presume anybody else that is story related will be in here. Hang a second. Guy brushed. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going to take too long. Right, we're going to have a wander around the house, see if we can find anything related to possible lawyer. Uh, because there's got to be something. There's got to be some papers in Chuck's office that will be for the lawyer or something along those lines and uh, whilst we're at this end as well we can also go and check the ASCII table look at ASCII table it's my handy ASCII chart never know when you'll need to decode binary messages so I always practice every day so can we pick it up I don't want to pick that up Looking at it, oh, looking at it's done it. Yeah, that's all we needed then. Right, pick up dust, and we did pick this up prior to walking out on our entire family. So, because that is obviously going to be used for something. Uh, right, we'll go check out. What the hell's that? Who are you? Talk to Doug. Yes, talk to Doug. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. Oh, then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. So he's dig, Doug. Right. Right, let's head. Digging. His office was this one, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, no. Pick up. Uh, no, open door. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Right. Receipt, check register. Well, we're going to have a look at the receipt. Looks like an old receipt. Look it's it. a receipt from the town's electronics store. 
One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Uh, journal. Yes, that's definitely going to be... That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. Well, we're going to pick it up. Look at the journal. Uh, journal to keep records of my progress. Future historians predicted neutron tube is amazing. Uh, profits endless. Automated. Need to keep Mr. Reyes on as security guard until the security robots... Are <gasps> Reyes? I said the uh, security guard had something to do with it, but it looks like it may have been Reyes' dad. Ah, we're discovering story plot points. Uh, I could win a Nobel Prize. Franklin is good with books, but he'd keep his ideas to himself. Um, I fired the coroner, but I might look odd if Thumbleweed didn't have one, so I have to plan more later. Hmm. Coronage. Okay. There's got to be something about a, a, a lawyer in here. I don't see a problem with AI. Miss Ray I'm, must be mistaken or paranoid about his job and making things. I've increased the neural tube network yet again. Uh, no, I don't want other people. I'll have my AI take care of my bank account. Um, I should re probably read in this in detail. I'm just looking for a lawyer's name. Change time clock so it looks like Mr. Reyes didn't check in. That should avert suspicion. Mr. Reyes will take the fall, but my AI won't be under scu scrutiny. It's too valuable to shoot down. So, Chuck, uh, we're going to have to get give this journal to uh, Reyes. Obviously, this is going to be the evidence he needs. Back at the factory trying to clean up most of the factory AI seems to have been destroyed. Good news it is the most complex systems were hard at work simulating my text adventure world and were unaffected. I'm going to move them into the basement. So I, I said the fireplace looked like it could be, lead into a basement. It was a secret passage or something. Agrees with my plan to pin the fire on Mr. Reyes. They have a kid so Mrs. Reyes will be happy with some money and to move away. It's the last I'll see of them. Efforts with the Matron machine. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, despite having a wimp of a father. 1138, what do I know that number from? 1138, is that, is that going to be reference to something? We, is that a safe combination? Um, she's out of the will. Just uh, game company, and she discuss this with the AI. Uh, do do do. The AI needs need to forget about her. The AI makes a lot of sense. Something amazing. Can it be? I'm on the last page of the journal. I to get a new one. So right. Much to write down. This is truly amazing. So nothing Uncle about Chuck was a strange and complicated person. Indeed. Uh, check register. We'll pick that up. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Well, let's just look it's at it. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. Okay. Uh, is there anything hidden about the place? Look at the painting. Is there a safe behind the painting? Hmm. Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why. Pull. Yeah. And there's a key. Well, we're going to pick up the key. The key's going to be for something. Uh, fingerprint reader. Uh, what's going to have his fingerprint on? I don't know. Uh, is there any tape about in here? We can take... Can we just use it? Let's try it. I knew it wouldn't work for me. Yeah, I did as well, but we had to try. Look at the key then. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. Hmm. Okay. Right. Well, we're certainly getting further with this uh, than anybody else's missions, aren't we? 
Look at the large vacuum tube. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. Right, we're taking it then. Uh, look at the shelves. And I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Look at these shelves. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Look at the robot. Nothing. It's a defunct robot prototype. The robot head? Is this the AI? Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Uh, nothing else. Look at the bed. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. Right. Okay, well, we've got a, a key. Uh, did we look at the receipt? What it's the rece a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, we're going to... Because all these doors will just send us on a merry chase again, won't, won't they? We'll... Feeling my way along. Yeah. Yeah, so none of these doors are actually relevant. So we're going to go back downstairs. Doug's disappeared. Um... Oh, Doug is digging holes. Digging? Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Right, so he, he's not going to discover the basement. Uh, digging? Can we open the clock? I don't want to open it. Can we use the clock? That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Oh, more dust. Right. So we're at 25, 23 to go. Uh, look at fireplace. Is there any secret passages? No. Okay. Well, we're going into the kitchen then. More dust. Open cupboard. There's nothing inside. Well, we're going to check every cupboard then. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. In the fridge. Trademark infringing poopsie. Yes, we're going to pick that up. Uh, open the drawers. There's nothing inside. Open other drawer. There's nothing inside. Open other drawer. Nope. Open other drawer. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. We're going to find something. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. And the final one. There's nothing inside. Okay. Well, that was pointless, I know. Uh... Right, let's go outside. Can we go outside? Are we allowed to actually leave the building? Uh, this is where we get to here and it says, no, I can't go any further. Oh, no, she can actually leave. Okay. So where do we want to take Dolores? Uh, take her to the hotel? Maybe. If Franklin can't make it to Dolores, let's take Dolores to the hotel then. At least that's one way of dealing with it. And I'm just trying to work out, have we seen anything about lawyers before? Right. Can we talk to the manager as Dolores? Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? Uh, did you see my dad before he disappeared? That's did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be Abu of service? How's, How's business? business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. How else may I be Abu of service? Well, that's I'm going it, to check out the beautiful lobby. 
Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Right, well, we're going to bring Franklin downstairs then. Uh, down to the lobby. Let's see if we can interact. Talk to Dolores. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. Uh, I want to give her a hug and say sorry. Really proud. Of I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. I want to I'll give, give you, you a hug. hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. Goodbye, oh. Dolores. I miss you. Did that work then? Try to talk to Dolores, yes. Can we... Now we've done that, can we leave? What? No. Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. Right, okay, well... Can we... Blow on Dolores, see if we can... Well, back to work, Abu. No. Unaffected. Right. Hello, Dolores. No, I didn't How mean to, to click on you. Today. How may I be a boo of serving? Right. Well, we're going to. I'm going to check out the. Goodbye. Have right. a nice evening, Abu. Okay. Well, we're going to take her back into town. See if we can find anything about a lawyer in town. So at least she can actually go about the place. Uh. So. And we're not going to have any hot dogs. Oh, can we talk to? Talk to. Talk to. I need to stay focused talk and to. solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. No. <laughs> okay, well, we're we'll good. Uh, Dolores, there we go. Right. Uh, so, is, is the lawyer. Get lawyer to read Uncle's will. Talk to Lenore in the library. Oh, we didn't actually talk to her. We just wandered in. We got the, the cutscene dialogue. So maybe she d will actually tell us who the lawyer is. Um, maybe we can go to the psychic to find out more about. Possibly. And... So I don't think there's anything in the post office really related. Let's try talking to Madame Marina. The future is never written. Come on. Go talk to him. Uh, go on. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore, Dolores. The Bubblefish has a banana. Uh, guess I guess you heard. you heard about my uncle. Oh, yes, dear. And I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, though? If you are sad, then I am sad for you, Dolores. Although I can't pretend that the idea of Chuck roasting in the fires of hell doesn't provide me with some amusement. That's like way harsh, Marina. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how to feel right now. Uh, good to see you again. It's good to see you again, Marina. Dolores, you little mojo bean. So pleased to see you back in town. If anyone has given you any trouble in the big city, you say the word, and I'll put a hex on them. I've got a really good one I'm dying to use that will turn their bathing suit parts green. Uh, so Goodbye, she Madame doesn't. Marina. She Come doesn't back know. anytime, Dolores. She doesn't know anything about Dad. Right. So. Loose change? I'm not going to talk to Willy because he, I think he's probably just going to do all the usual dialogue. Maybe the reporter. Maybe the reporter will know something. And whilst we're in town, we could also go to the tech shop as well, the, the vacuum tube shop. Hello, Dolores. How's life in the big city? Uh, it's okay. Getting kind of sick of it. It's better than here. Uh, eh, we'll go. It's, it's okay. okay. Interested in a little interview for the award-winning nickel? 
I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. Don't think so. The town is pretty mad at me for abandoning my uncle, maybe after the will reading. Has the nickel won an award? Has the nickel won an award? There isn't anyone in Thimbleweed Park smart enough to give it an award. <laughs> Even for best birdcage liner? <laughs> you sure you're not interested in doing an interview? I promise it'll be a puff piece. Maybe, Maybe after, the will. after the will reading. It's a perfect way to get your side of the story out. Local girl makes good making... Making... What is it you make again? Adventure games. Ah, games. You mean for kids? No, our main audience is adults. Ever played an adventure game before? That's going to be a huge help. Uh, thanks for talking. I think I need to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck's passing. Bye, Natalie. Okay, right, well, we're going to go to the vacuum tube shop, or YouTube, and see if we can do anything with the receipt. Possibly. Because it, it wouldn't be there unless we're supposed to use it for some reason or other. Uh, plus, we have got this super rare one. Maybe we can get some money for it. Let's talk to Ricky. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Been a long time. What happened to the, your bakery? Here's an old receipt. No, I think that's been a uh, long go. time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. So, Here's receipt. Here's receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. So can we use that with that? I already have this tube. Okay, so we use it to pull a tube out of something. Right, okay. So maybe we use that to disable something. We use this to disable the AI in the basement. Okay, right. Let's head out. Right, we'll go back to the uh, mansion and can we head out town this way? Was it this way? Yeah, out town outskirts. Can we try using it on something that is unimportant? <gasps> We're going to collect lots of vacuum tubes. Yes. This is our new goal, but I'm going to head out of town, go back to the mansion, and then we'll talk to our sister. Talk to our sister, and maybe she says something about the lawyer. And at least it's one thing ticked off the list, and then we'll call it quits there, shall we? I know we've not done a lot, really. So certainly it looks like Dolores' storyline is the one we're going to be able to make most progress on. So let's go talk to... What was the name I'm of it? I'm at the staircase. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Okay. Chucky doesn't want to talk to you. Oh god, they called the kid Chucky. Okay, Lenore. we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Hey, Lenny, long time no see. It's good to see you again, sis. It's been too long. And whose fault is that, sweetie? I'm certainly not the one who abandoned the family in their hour of need. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Uh, would it kill you to help out a little? So Uncle Chuck really hated me. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Uh... Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was 
always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. So Uncle Chuck really so hated Chuck him. Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a, you know what, a game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career Is my really career that shameful? Really that shameful? Oh hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a. Do you know anything oh, no. about Dad's disappearance? Misclick. Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. I, I think, think we're, we're done. done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Right, so... We've talked to Lenore, but we still need to find out where the lawyer is. But we will leave that until the next episode. I've, I've been going for what? Half an hour or so. So if you want to I'm check that out. I'm at the out, staircase. Should I use it? Well, we'll walk up the staircase then. We'll, I'm we'll, at the stair. I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? Use the staircase. Can't we just walk up it? No. Um, yeah. So if you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It does help us out as always. And if you want to see more like it, why not consider subscribing and maybe let me know in the comments below where you reckon I should head next. What should I do? It, have you got any clues as to where we can find the lawyer or uh, what was other people's missions? M other people's missions. How do we get into the penthouse? How do we get to Chuck's tomb? We obviously can't leave the hotel. Uh, Ransom had to... What the hell is this package we're supposed to do? send to the post office? Because we can't get out the place. Oh, well. So, yeah, until next time, guys. I will catch you later. Bye.